we good to go? Yes. I've got, uh, we've got the DD CEO, Mr. Hemandua, Mr. Gautam Gambhir, and Mr. Ricky Ponting with us. I'll request Mr. Hemandua to make the initial remark. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, just the uh, purpose of uh, holding this conference is, um, you know, we just wanted to have a little chat with you guys. We haven't had that for a long time, so that was the purpose. Um, but uh, I would like, uh, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Uh, but there's some announcement that we would like to make, and um, I would like to have uh, uh, Gautam as the captain first take that, and then Ricky as a coach, and then I will say a few words from the franchise side. Look, I think as a leader of, uh, of the ship, uh, I take up complete uh, responsibility for where we are in the points table, and I have decided, seeing the points table and the performance of the team, that uh, I've decided to step down, and I have announced Shreyas Ayer and uh, as the next captain and I think that is the way forward for the franchise and we all feel that he's going to do the do a very good job and he's the right, right guy to take this franchise and this team forward and we still absolutely believe that we've got the group to turn it around and we still need, we need to win 7 out of 8 which is absolutely possible in this format. Teams have done it in the past and we have the capability, we have the confidence to do that this year as well. Ricky. Uh, there, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I just want to back up what Gotham had to say there. Um, having been in the same situation myself for a number of years, years ago, obviously it's a, a tough decision for anybody to make, to put their hand up and, uh, and say that they think their performances uh, haven't been good enough and that they think there's someone else better in the, in the side to take their spot. So I'd like to definitely um, say well done and congratulations on Gotham for putting the team ahead of his own individual um, thoughts. Uh, it takes and shows a lot of great character for a leader of our team to put his hand up and say this. I also fully uh, endorse uh, Shreyas Oyer as our next captain. He's obviously a terrific young player, he's a terrific young man uh, that, I, uh, that I see as having a huge future in the game and a huge future as a leader of the Delhi Daredevils. So um, just from my behalf, the head coach's behalf, I'd like to congratulate GG on the decision that he, that he has made. As tough as it might be, um, gives us now um, you know, a really fresh start for the last half of this tournament, uh, one of which we think we can actually start to make an impact on the tournament with the, the talent we have around our group. So um, looking forward to that getting underway in a couple of days' time and um, looking forward to seeing how Shreyas IE handles the captaincy role. So thanks a lot for coming and um, hopefully we'll see you over the next few weeks. Now on behalf of the franchise, I would like to first say, I mean, uh, this was a decision um, that Gotham took on his own, and we, we, we salute um, you know the contribution and, and, and the effort that he, he has made. And he's very passionate about um, making DD win. And uh, you know we, we're really touched by this. And for me, I, I can say on behalf of the franchise, um, there are not many examples like this in India. And uh, I would say it's the first example, and it's a massive, massive example, and it should set the tone for uh, you know rest of the cricketers where. You know, a cricketer has said, my team comes first before before me as an individual, and, and he's done that, and, and we totally salute that. And uh, as a franchise, we are totally indebted. Gotham will uh, obviously be around, and he will, um, you know, be around the group and mentor uh, Shuresh uh, into captaincy, and, and we want that to happen, and because there's no better tactical individual than Gotham who knows the Delhi ground better and, and the Indian scenario better, and with Ricky and Gotham around, I think Shresh will only flourish. So once again, I would like to thank uh, Gotham for what he's done, and he will carry on with Didi as um, as a player mentor and and play and, and play a bigger role for all of us. And now I would like to uh, welcome uh, Shresh uh, to join us. Shresh. Yeah, just the main No, no, stay, 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 please. Um, I would like Shreyas to say a few words, but um, I think uh, you know it's it's an important moment. So, as Gotham said, it was his choice, and and Ricky endorsed it, and we as a franchise to, truly endorse and see the potential in Shreyas to become the next big thing uh, for Indian cricket, and as for Didi as a franchise to lead forward. Shreyas. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank the management and uh, you know the coaches and Gotibai for 
appointing me uh, or selecting me as the captain i think it's a great honor to lead the leader devils and yeah i think we still have a lot of potential in the team, as a team to win the tournament and you know we we've got eight, eight, eight games in our hand and yeah there are there are lots of us who still believe that you know we can we can do something great and obviously with the help of them uh, i i don't see any negative thoughts coming on to my mind question yeah happy to take a few questions wait for the mic to reach you aman that's it uh just wait just take the mic be easier gautam is it is it your decision or the franchise asked you to step down absolutely my decision and uh, in fact uh, i called up uh, kiran yesterday and i called up himut as well i was the one who initiated the meeting i thought that I haven't contributed enough, and at the same time, the performance of the team. I had to take the responsibility, being the leader of the ship, and I owe that responsibility. I should, as a leader. So I feel that uh, it was the right time because we still we are very much in this competition. So this was the right time to maybe put my hand up and say that where we stand in the points table, I I have to owe up that responsibility. So it was absolutely my decision. No pressure from the franchise. Nothing. They've been absolutely supportive about it. But sometimes when your conscience says that it's the right time, you just take that. And who else going to resign? Uh, because last end year, eleven year, you lo lost almost eighty-seven matches out of fifty-one forty-two. Mister Dua, are you going to submit your paper, or you still think? You want me to submit my paper? I'll do that. Are you going to join in my place? No, no. I'm so not then, that. thank you. So we we still believe we're going to win, and we are very confident. And you know we knew these questions are going to come about uh, you know franchise pressurizing Gautam. It is his decision, and I think you know as journalists and as media, you should for once respect when somebody takes a decision and uh, give him that due credit rather than trying to find theories and stories around it. Uh, because and that's that's the problem with all of us. When somebody takes a decision, respect that because those kind of decisions in India are not taken. And you know from that point of view, we totally back and salute Gautam. And I think it's important that. The media notes that and, and takes that forward. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Maybe the only thing I can point point down to is that maybe I was too desperate to turn things around, and at a at time that can backfire as well, because sometimes you're too eager and you're too keen and you're too desperate to uh, turn things around. It just makes you hard on your own self, and that could be the reason. And sometimes you realize that maybe I just couldn't handle the pressure, which came with with the position, with the responsibility which I was given. And as I just said, that sometimes when you're not able to handle that pressure and uh, your own performance plus the team's performance, you got to owe that up as a leader. And uh, maybe I was too desperate than I should have been, and uh, to be honest, because I was very very eager to turn it around. And that could be one reason why I can point down when I was sitting alone and thinking that. Maybe after after the last game, I thought that maybe that could be re could be the reason why I, I couldn't fire and I couldn't handle the pressure. I have to be absolutely honest, and I've always been absolutely honest to what I say. And now uh, one reason is absolutely this one. And you're trying to pressure before us, Kevin. That's not the that's not the mystery. Maybe coming coming back to Delhi was an emotional uh, decision as well. It was my emotional homecoming, and uh, sometimes when emotion gets better of you, and then you're so desperate to turn things around. that uh, that is the only uh, only thing i can think of at the moment and uh, it's too early in the day uh, in the tournament to reflect on what actually went wrong but one thing that came in mind was this because as i just said that when you too desperate to when you too desperate to achieve something you can actually back far at times yeah wo to mera apne dawa ke itna zyada pressure tha to aap isse zyada pressure aapne dpr ke kaptan ke roop mein de raha hai waha to waha aapne perform kiya yahan kyun nahi kar paaye kya aapke paas paryapt sadhan nahi hai या आपको उस तरह की टीम नहीं मिली या लोग बदल गए अच्छा मुझे लगता है कि शायद जब मैं साल की उम्र का था मैं छत्तीस साल की उम्र का हूँ तो वही एक रीजन भी हो सकता है कि अट्ठाईस साल में आप ज्यादा प्रेशर हैंडल कर सकते हो छत्तीस साल में नहीं प्राजक्ता How are you looking at the challenge, and what is it that is going through your mind? Can you share that with us? Well, I am really loving the responsibility uh, they have put upon me, and and 
also the faith they show upon me and yeah i mean i love facing challenges as i've said in my previous interviews as well and it's a great opportunity for me to prove myself and also you know to get the team to the highest level possible and yeah i don't see any uh, any remarks or anything you know which can let me down uh, by getting this responsibility yeah amit what i want to ask us as a player how do you see this challenge what are the things that now put to your mind don't think well i mean i just got uh, got the news today afternoon and you know i i wasn't thinking much about it <coughs> but it was really uh, well executed by all three of them we conducted the meeting and you know we didn't plan much about the game so far so obviously there's lot to uh, learn from our from vicky ponting and also gothi bhai because they'll be mentoring around us and you know it will be a great success, success definitely coming forward just, uh, sorry just bit. just following up from that yeah. it that's that's actually my job it's my job now it's my job it's gotham's job it's all the players job now to make sure it's job as easy as possible on the field you know um, we've got a, a couple of training days before the game comes around it's up to us to, as coaches to make sure that the guys train hard they train well but more importantly to make sure they're prepared for what's going to come in the game and a big part of coaching is making sure the captain's got everything that he needs to be well prepared for the for the challenge. So there's no extra pressure on Strauss or you at all. We wanted to go out and play the way he's been playing. He's been playing terrifically well. Um, and that's what we want to create around our team. We want to have a nice relaxed environment. Sure things are getting tougher for us, but just it's just a great challenge that we've got with a with a new uh, young captain and we're all, all excited to see how it works out for us over the next few weeks. And um, just to answer that gentleman's question again, um, my position is always tenable i'm out there and i'm the first one who will resign and raise my hand for the team always okay so let me answer that it's for the owners to decide and i still believe we've got eight games to go so right so we are still the, the league is not finished till the last ball is bowled so we still believe we can win as a championship we can have this dialogue post and i will be the first one to submit my resignation it's up to the owners to decide what they want to do so let me be very clear i still believe in the team we have we have the best talent out there and we have the best coaches and the best players so i think let's give us some credit we might just turn around this and there's been history behind in ipl before and i'm firm believer that we can do that this year thank you last four amit first i have two questions one is uh, isn't it too early because just six matches and this team is playing uh, all the players got together right after the start and second is second one is uh, when did you take the decision Look, I think it's never too early and it's never too late as well. So I uh, sometimes when when your conscience says that obviously as a player and as a leader, where you should have been because I've always I've always set really high standards for myself as a player, and if I'm not able to achieve that, obviously then uh, it starts putting doubt in your on in your mind that obviously uh, whether you actually have put enough weight to be in the playing eleven. At the same time, your team hasn't performed. So as a leader of the group, you take that responsibility as well. and uh, obviously obviously when i spoke to my wife obviously she she said that you as a leader you've given opportunities to other players you've given 14 15 opportunities why only four to yourself and my only answer was that i've set different standards for my own self as compared to what i set standards for other people and sometimes when you're not able to achieve those standards obviously you got to put your hand up and say that i was not good enough and uh, that is all because i thought uh, the bell started ringing especially after the last game that we should have won and uh, again uh, sometimes after those games when you dig deep when you dig deep inside looking for answers and sometimes when you get a, get that answer and you decide that okay it's time last trip jadi this one is about you in you in your opening remarks you kept on saying that you will continue to mentor the players and the and the captain does this mean this of completely not continue as a player no i'm not saying he's not continuing he's, he's very much with us and he's he's continuing as a when i say he's a player mentor that's how it is it's up to him whether he feels fit to play and it's up to the coach to decide what the playing 11 is with the captain and it's their call it's no one i'm no one to decide that and as a as a management we never tell them who to play and what to play it's completely their call and and i think they can answer that question better than i can indranit uh, coach i have a question uh, you really uh, how about you see we have eight more games to game uh, you know to go i mean we have realistic chances making it on top of the top four I honestly believe we do absolutely I I've, I've said that from day 1 and my opinion hasn't 
changed or wavered at all. I think through this tournament, we've been able to play some really good cricket, and it's been a couple of overs here and there in almost every contest that's cost us the game. I think we saw that again the other night with our, with our first home game. You know, how close we got on the back of, you know, a pretty ordinary power play and, and losing wickets at the, the back end of our batting power play really end up costing us the game. You know, even up in, in Rajasthan, you know, Jaipur that first game, rain came in and sort of washed us away a little bit. We were a good chance. We thought we were in a really strong position in that game as well. So look, we, we've shown some, some really positive signs, but we've also shown that the difference between our best cricket and our worst cricket, the gap has been too vast. And we need to bring that gap a little bit tighter and be more consistent through um, the course of 40 overs in every game. I think we've done it for 35, 36 overs in most games and not been able to put a complete game together. So I honestly absolutely do feel that we've got a good enough squad of players um, to be able to turn things around and turn things around quickly. And let's not forget, we've, we've got a lot of home games coming up still as well. So we've, um, you know, we, we've got, what have we got? Still six games, six home games to go. Uh, obviously the last four games of the tournament are home games. So. Look, our next game obviously is the most important game. We need to put out a great performance in our next game and start working on from there. But, you know, I'll make sure that the guys work hard. I'll, show, I'll make sure that the guys are well prepared and, and when, we, when we take the field in our next game, hopefully there's a different result for us. This is not uncommon in Australia where, where captain takes responsibility and just moves on. From that point of view, what is Shocking for you, an Indian captain, especially in a tournament like IPL, taking this kind of decision. And do you think this is going to be the trend in IPL in future, especially the Indian captains who are struggling, not not necessarily in this season, maybe in future? Is that the template for that? Oh, look, I think um, Gotham deserves a lot of credit for the way he's handled this situation. Um, it's really unheard of before in Indian cricket for for a senior player to put his hand up and say, "I don't feel like I'm playing well enough," and it's I'm, and for the team's sake, I'm going to stand down. Um, you know, I did it when I was at Mumbai as a player. I knew that I had better players that I was keeping out of the side, and um, and obviously God has decided to do the, the right thing. And I'll back up what Hamid had to say. I, I think it, it's a really good opportunity for the for the media and the public to just really give him some credit for what he's done. It, it, it doesn't happen every day. It might not happen again um, in Indian cricket or in IPL cricket. You see someone of his stature, uh, of his of his talent, and of and his ability, and his overall cricketing record. Just to say, you know, I think it's it's time for, for a change of direction for this team. So, um, you know, I'm proud of what he's done. I'm sure all of his younger teammates are exceptionally proud of the fact that he stood up and said that to the team today. Um, and he's created an opportunity for a, for one of India's best young players to have the chance to captain his franchise. So, it, 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 please, everyone out there, give him credit, the credit he deserves um, over the next couple of weeks. Absolute final question, Arani. Welcome, this is for you. Uh, where do you see yourself as a player from here on, continue your future from here? I don't know, I think it's too early for me to decide on that as well. Obviously at the moment it was all about team, that's why we've taken this decision. Let's see, let me sit down and decide. I think you still need, I still need some more time to think about that as well. Where I go, where my game, where, where I as, as an individual goes from here on. But at the, team, at the moment it's in the middle of the competition and it's about where, what DD achieves in the next eight games is more important to me as compared to what I achieve in the next eight games. So I think or what, what I achieve in future as well. At the moment, it's all about DD. I think we should all concentrate in uh, achieving the results which we are looking for. And uh, we still have a great chance or a, an absolute possibility of turning things around and being in the playoffs. So let's talk about DD at the moment, not about myself. Can I request all four gentlemen to pose, just pose for the photographs? Stand up, fresh. You come in the middle. So, so, what can I hand you? Hand you? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.